A sudden West Virginia's race for governor is getting crowded. A well-known lawmaker ended the race today, and there could soon be even more candidates. Very exciting. Surrounded by fellow lawmakers, State Senator Ron Stallings of Boone County has entered the Democratic primary for governor. Stallings is in his fourth term in the state Senate, serving for 14 years. He is a physician and has been very involved in health care legislation and in dealing with the opioid crisis across the mountain state. And there's doctors in every corner of this state, and they have patients. And I just hope that they will step up to the plate, knowing what I've tried to do for the health care system, for the patients, for public health. Until now, Democrat Stephen Smith was the only candidate running for governor. So we welcome Senator Stallings and anyone else who jumps into the race, and we hope he'll consider signing the West Virginia Can't Wait pledge uh, not to take corporate cash, never to hide from a debate, never to cross a picket line. While most of the focus has been on Democrats running for governor, it's important to underscore there are also three Republicans running, the current incumbent Jim Justice, former Commerce Secretary Woody Thrasher, and former delegate Mike Folk. No matter which Democrat wins the primary, political analysts say it may be a tough race in a state where President Trump remains very popular. I would suggest to you this is a Republican state. Um, you can have Elizabeth Warren or somebody like that on the top of the ticket for the Democrats. And without having that good name recognition, it's hard to overcome the Republican wave in West Virginia. Kanawha County Commissioner Ben Salango is also thinking about running for governor as a Democrat. More Democrats are thinking about running for governor now that U.S. Senator Joe Manchin has decided to skip the governor's race.